So I have a squash plant here. I thought it was one of the F1 spineless squash, but those are actually green. Um, you can see the ants are kind of going all around it. But I've had really poor pollination on these. And I haven't had a lot of male flowers open when the female flowers open. So here I have a male flower and a female flower. And the problem I've noticed with these is that this is, they don't open much further than this, which is unusual. Um, I see a lot of plants that open a lot further. This is still some kind of hybrid, but it's of a yellow squash and not the green F1 that I, hybrid that I thought. Um, it's still an F1 hybrid, it's just of a different color. Look at that, I'm getting fire ants on me. Oh man. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, you can see the little yellow looks like light gluing at the end of the q-tip that's the pollen coming off the male flower and i'm going to grab a little more unfortunately i'm grabbing fire ants too and i'll just shake those off um unless fire ants get near the house or something i don't tend to bother them because they eat the aphids off of my plants they've harvested aphids off the okra these are underneath my apple tree and I've seen them harvesting aphids and other insects off my apple tree before which is really cool so I'm just rubbing the q-tip around there and that's it um well might actually try it a little more because I'm not sure it took. Go right in the center of that female flower. Hopefully that works. Believe it or not, I did not get bit by any of these ants. It's great. I noticed this plant has a ton of spines on it. I wasn't sure what it meant when some of them say spineless. This is definitely not it, but look at those spines. I've never really grown squash successfully, so I don't think that I realized that the plants had all of these spines on it. Same for growing okra. Until I started growing the spineless variety, um, which had small spines, and then realizing as I grow more that other okra varieties have huge spikes on them, um, known as spines. So it's just the things that you learn once you start really homesteading and growing your own. Look at all those flowers. So hopefully this squash is pollinated. I didn't get to this one in time, but it looks like it may be pollinated. I've had to pull off about 15 squash that just didn't pollinate well. Um, you can see it, that male flower right there kind of dying off. And then this is a female flower here on this fruit, but I don't know that it's pollinated. It's too early to tell, but it's likely not. And if not, then the end of the fruit will turn brown and it'll look like it has blossom and rot when really it's just really poor pollination. I kind of combated um, the lack of pollination and started planting some more squash here and another one over here and I'm hoping that it's hiding behind it parts of the apple tree. I'm hoping that as these grow they'll all pollinate each other and be fine and produce through fall since it's August now. That's kind of the goal. So here you can see kind of the different stages of baby squash. Here's a really tiny one down there. And there's a bunch of male flowers too, so hopefully we'll get some squash out of this because they're already so big, even when they're first pollinated and not pollinated. I'm excited to see how fast they'll grow once they are pollinated. 
how cool is that guys 